It's 15 trivia questions on Disney Channel original movies, as picked by Patreon subscriber Katie Smith. This is Trivia with Buds. Welcome to another episode of the Trivia with Buds podcast. I'm your host, Ryan Buds. Thanks for checking out this show. If you like pop culture trivia, you are in the right place. And today, if you're a Disney Channel original movie fan, oh, do I have an episode for you. We're going to read 15 synopsises of different um, Disney Channel original movies, and you're going to have to try and name the title of those movies. So this will be for the diehard Disney fans out there. And a lot of these movies, I understand, are going to be on Disney+, Plus, which is very cool, and coming out for $6.99 a month um, in November, I think it is. So very excited about that for all the original programming that's going to be on there, but also for some of these gems like these Disney Channel original movies. I did not grow up watching too many of these myself, just a few here and there in the 90s. I feel like kids that were like three or four years younger than me, so like a whole uh, graduating class younger, watched a ton more, like my friend's little sister and stuff like that. My friend Steve Nelson and his little sister Becca Nelson. Uh, I feel like Becca watched a lot of these movies and we'd walk in and kind of make fun of them and then walk out and go grab a a Sunny D or whatever, you know, (laughs) back then. It was great. It seems like such a simpler time to just go have a Sunny D. I haven't had Sunny D in probably 20 years. What does it taste like? Is it real orange juice? Probably not. Uh, So that's what we're going to be doing on today's episode. If you're not into Disney Channel original movies, don't worry. You probably didn't even click on this episode if that was the case, but maybe you did. Maybe you listen to everyone no matter what. And for those diehard fans, I thank you. But if you want to go find some other trivia that might be more suited for you, just go in the feed and scroll down till you see a topic that jumps out at you. Maybe you're like, ooh, I love Back to the Future. We've done that a few times. You can go and scroll your heart away at some Back to the Future trivia. Maybe like sports. We've done stuff like baseball movies. We've done uh, Super Bowl trivia. Just dive in to whatever uh, jumps out at you and have some fun with it. This show is great for road trips, and it is the road trip in season with summer kicking off here. We're uh, officially in June, and hopefully you're officially going on a vacation soon. This is uh, near the end of our debt-free journey, which I haven't shut up about in a while. So we're not going on any huge trips in terms of like road trips this summer, but man, next summer, we're going to be able to go wherever we want. It's going to be cool. Can't wait. And um, I am going down to Chattanooga, Tennessee, if you live anywhere near down those parts come check out disney marvel star wars trivia at south south side social which is a great little bar that has tons of fun stuff to do like ping pong and cornhole and drinks and shots and pinball machines and trivia with me you can get those tickets at TriviaWithBuds.com. Click the big banner at the top with the mini ears and the link to buy tickets. Eight tickets already sold the first day I put it up, so that was kind of cool. And uh, I would love to see you down there. Place holds about 100, probably 100 tops, 105 maybe, 110. And uh, it's going to be very competitive and fun. We did it the same exact weekend last summer, and we had 86 players. So if we can match that again, that would be very, very cool. And if you know anybody in the Chattanooga area, definitely tell them to come check it out. Everybody likes one of those three things right? Disney, Marvel, and Star Wars. And I'll have a ton of cool stuff to give away. Um, Some very unique things that I got from uh, doing a Disney event not too long ago for Black History Month. And my friend Michelle, who works at Disney, she said, hey, I can get you some stuff for prizes. And I have a very cool Jack Skellington uh, doll, like where he's in his sleeping cap and pajamas. And it's shaped kind of like a like a coffin. So it's a very cool um, unique giveaway that I'll have just at that event. I also have a giant Mr. Incredible doll to give away and uh, some awesome t-shirts and different things like that. So lots of cool stuff piled up on the shelf in my garage that's labeled trivia prizes. And I can't wait for you to win those things. Again, go to TriviaWithBuds.com, click on the big Disney event at the top for Chattanooga. That's July 7th at Southside Social at 7 p.m. That's going to be a fun one. Also, I'm going to be in Chicago the weekend of October 19th. That's a Saturday, so I'll be in town for an event that day, but I will probably be looking for something fun to do in terms of trivia on uh, Friday, October 18th or Sunday, October 20th. So if you have anything going on around those times, let me know. 
and uh, I'll try and fit it into the schedule or I will try and get a show set up for you guys to come play in Chicago, sweet home, Chicago. That'll be fun to visit my mom and things as well in the fall. That's my favorite time to go visit uh, the Midwest. So that'll be fun as well. All right, guys, that's a lot of rambling. And uh, we're going to jump into these 15 questions on Disney Channel original movies. I'll read you the uh, brief synopsis from IMDb for these 15 movies. And you have to try and figure out what the movie was called. Some of them you'll remember, some of them you won't, but you'll have fun learning them nonetheless. All right, we're going to jump into those questions right now. Here we go. All right, 15 of these in a row, Disney Channel original movies. I'm just reading straight down on this list that someone made on IMDb for a Disney Channel original movies. Here's the first synopsis. This one is uh, from 1997. Three kids accidentally reanimate a mummy on Halloween. 1997, three kids accidentally reanimate a mummy on Halloween. That's number one. Question number two. Man leaves his fortune to his dog and its psychiatrist. From 1998, man leaves his fortune to his dog and its psychiatrist. Number three is from 1998. Andy Brink Brinker and his inline skating crew, Peter, Jordy, and Gabriella, who call themselves soul skaters, which means they skate for the fun of it, not for money, clash with uh what does it say here clash with uh a group of sponsored skaters team x blades led by val okay there's a lot of synopsis but that's all i'm going to read for you (laughs) what is the name of that movie number three question number four after learning she is a witch a girl helps save a town full of other supernatural creatures number four after learning she's a witch a girl helps save a town full of other supernatural creatures number five from oh and that last one is from uh, 1998 this one's from 1999 an inquisitive teenager pries into suspected dodgy dealings on her space station home and ends up being sent down to earth I had to say it like that. Sent down to earth, 1999, number five. Question number six, 1999. This one looks crazy. I wish I could show you somehow. A teen is visited by aliens after he broadcasts a message into space. Not a lot of thought into that plot line, right? It's just pretty basic. Number six, a teen is visited by aliens after he broadcasts a message into space. And we've got number seven from 1999. A teen learns that his birth mother is a mermaid after he begins to grow fins and slimy scales on his 13th birthday. What was that? Number seven from 1999. Number eight from 1999. Did all these come out in 1999? A teenager wins a fully automated dream house in a competition, but soon the computer controlling it begins to take over and everything gets out of control. Then teenage Ben must calm the computer named Pat. That seems like a weird sentence to include in the plot line. That's number eight, 1999. Number nine, 1999. A Hawaiian teenage surfer shows off his skills when he takes to the snow slopes of Vermont. Number nine, 1999. Hawaiian teenage surfer in Vermont. Number 10 from 1999, Charlie Boyle finds that even his high IQ can't solve all his problems when he takes on a double life in order to make friends his own age. Number 10. Number 11 from 99, literally all from, they must have put out one a month. A teen enlists the help of an imaginary friend named Larry Houdini to deal with a prank playing boogeyman who's framing her for his dastardly deeds. Number 11, what was that weird ass movie? Number 12, 99, after treating his rancher cousin shoddily in LA, Michael Woods is sentenced by his parents to spend a month on the ranch with his cousin and aunt. Number 12. 
Couple more of these to go, three more to be exact. Number 13, 2000. We're jumping up a year. The only normal member of a superpowered family feels left out and confused until he has the chance to use a talent of his own to save everyone. That's number 13. Number 14 from 2000 as well. A white South African girl finds herself in a difficult situation when she is spent to spend a term with a black family in America. Number 14 from 2000. And number 15 from 2000, a group of hip retro teenage outsiders become involved in an inner school bowling rivalry. Well, of all these that I've read, I can relate most to this one. <laughs> number 15, 2000, a group of hip retro teenage outsiders become involved in an inner school bowling rivalry. I mean, this is basically an entry for my yearbook, but let's see how you do with that one. Number 15. All right, those are all the movies for this episode. Let's see if you can name all the titles based on those weird synopsises. We'll be back in just a few. All right, guys, we are back with the Disney Channel original movie, Name Off. Let's see how many of these you remember or could have figured out. Number one, three kids accidentally reanimate a mummy on Halloween. That's a movie called Under Wraps from 1997. Get it? The mummy was under wraps. Number two, you lucky dog. Man leaves his fortune to his dog and its psychiatrist, 1998, you lucky dog. Rating 4.8 out of 10 on IMDb. Number three, Andy Brink Brinker and his inline skating crew. That was a movie called, you guessed it, Brink, with an exclamation point in the title, Brink, 99 minutes. Number four, Halloween Town. That was a common one. Everyone knows that one. After learning she's a witch, a girl helps save a town full of other supernatural creatures. 98, number four, Halloween Town. Number five, we had from 1999, an inquisitive teenager pries into suspected dodgy dealings on her space station home and ends up being sent down to Earth. That is called Xenon Girl of the 21st Century. That looks very interesting. <clears throat> This next one's insane. I wish I could show you the cover. It's just like this weird alien with long, it kind of looks like uh, Crumb from Ah Real Monsters. It's like two eyeballs on the end of long tentacles, and he's just bizarre. Uh, number six, 1999, a teen is visited by aliens after he broadcasts a message into space. It was Can of Worms, Can of Worms. We should all get together and watch Can of Worms. Look up the poster. Number seven, 1999, a teen learns that his birth mother's a mermaid, and it's called the 13th year. The 13th year, that's when you become a mermaid. Mm -hmm. Number eight was uh, from 1999, and it's called Smart House. A teenager wins a fully automated dream house, Smart House. Number nine was the Hawaiian teenage surfer that goes to Vermont. I've never seen it, but it's called Johnny Tsunami. I've definitely heard it before. Johnny Tsunami. Number 10 was from 99, and Charlie Boyle finds that even his high IQ can't solve all his problems when he takes on a double life in order to make friends his own age. That's called Genius. It's just called Genius. Number 11, 99, a teen enlists in the help of an imaginary friend named Larry Houdini. Don't Look Under the Bed was the name of the movie. Don't Look Under the Bed. It's a very bizarre poster. Number 12, I love this title. It's just called Horse Sense. After treating his rancher cousin shoddily in LA, Michael Woods is sentenced by his parents to spend a month on the ranch with his cousin and his aunt. Horse Sense. Number 13, we had a 2000 movie, the only normal member of a super powered family feels left out and confused that's called up up and away up up and away number 14 the girl from south africa goes to america to live with the black family that's from the 2000 year and it was 87 minutes long and it was called the color of friendship huh that's a perfect title right it says look beyond black and white and you'll find dot 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 that's the tagline and then the color of friendship and number 15 was from 2000. It's about the uh, inner school bowling rivalry, and that is Alley Cat's Strike. Alley Cat's Strike, finally a movie about high school bowling. I've never seen it, but uh, that was my whole life. I was on the bowling team, and I was not very good, but we got to bowl for free. That was fun, huh? Mm-hmm, for sure. Speech team, bowling team, 
I was a virgin in high school. It's true. It's very true. And uh, hopefully <laughs> you scored higher than I did on this quiz. And you had some fun answering these weird questions about Disney Channel original movies. Thank you, Katie Smith, who gave this topic to me on the Patreon spreadsheet. Uh, if you donate $5 or more per month on patreon.com slash trivia with buds, you get to pick a topic that I will record for you. I am uh, a month or two behind at this moment, but... Um, have some free time to catch up on this in the month of June. So we'll have a bunch of Patreon subscriber topics coming up this month. So be on the lookout for things like Ben and Jerry's flavors from my friend uh, Jen, Grease 2 from Jen, Schwarzenegger versus Stallone from Greg Hines, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory from Dan Papello, all answers starting with the letter G from Alexis Eck, and Brennan Martinez wants Pulp Fiction quotes. So those are just a few topics that we're going to get to very soon. And again, Katie, thanks for this one. This was fun. Hopefully you had fun reliving those movies and memories. Thank you guys so much for listening to this show. I appreciate it. And uh, thank you so much for your support over on Patreon. And don't forget, guys, we have a brand new feature on the show called the Question of the Day. It's time for the Question of the Day brought to you by Funky Monkey Designs Incorporated in San Dimas, California for all your varsity jacket printing and embroidery needs. It's never outsourced. They do it right there in San Dimas. Go check them out. They are uh, fantastic new friends of mine, and I would love for you to see what they do. Go to FM Designs Inc fmdesignsinc.com and check out Funky Monkey Designs. Here's the question of the day for Disney Channel original movies. Uh, your question is, what was the child star who appeared in the 2000 TV movie Miracle in Lane 2, who is the child star that starred as a 13-year-old boy who uses a wheelchair and is determined to win a trophy like his athletic older brother in the 2000 movie Miracle in Lane 2, who plays that kid. If you know the answer, tweet it to me at Ryan Buds on Twitter, or you can email me, ryanbuds at gmail.com, and you'll be in the running to win an awesome prize mailed to you very soon. Thank you, Funky Monkey Designs, and uh, again, check them out if you need something printed in a high-quality fashion. Uh, I'm super excited that I get to do this every day and I get to hang out with my family and make little side projects and things whenever we have time. And if you want to see one of those side projects, you could see Annabelle and I's podcast called the Daughter Daddy Buds Family Podcast. Uh, the first one went up this past Monday. It's on my Facebook page, facebook.com slash trivia with buds. If you have kids, maybe you want them to watch it. It's kind of fun. It's kind of like a kid say the darndest things, but like with your own kid for 20 minutes, just sitting there and uh, we're BSing. And I'm asking her questions and she's kind of talking through it, but she's very funny and uh, it's fun chatting with her. So we recorded another one that'll come out next Monday and we'll try and do those every single Monday. And uh, we've been doing little previews of them with the family. We have uh, family come over for Taco Tuesdays on Tuesday nights. So we watch the episode that we're going to put out the following Monday. We've done that the last two weeks and uh, she gets a kick out of it because she like does commentary <laughs> over the video, which is great. She's like, okay, so at this part, this is what we're about to say. And then it plays and she's like, see, that's what I said. So she gets a kick out of it and uh, it's fun. And hopefully she gets more comfortable talking on a microphone for stuff like this. All right, guys, that's it for me. Thanks so much for listening. Thanks for telling a friend. We'll see you tomorrow for more trivia with me. Cheers. Thank you.